Hi guys. Okay, we're going to be doing something in school in person called the Past, Present, Future series. So it's the Kada Yearbook Edition. Pretty much we're going to be looking at some of the old yearbooks and trying to recreate a photograph, okay? So looking back at old photographs, we can see like students are kind of doing some of the same things, but they're using different technologies, okay? For example, <laughs> look at these pictures. What are those? Typing machines? I have no idea, okay? Obviously, it's really amazing to see the differences and similarities that we have in education, things that have changed over time and things that really still stay the same. It's amazing how we still have the same desks, okay? Um, what I want you guys to do is go grab a yearbook and choose a student life photo in the yearbook. So a student life photo is not these like portraits, okay? I want to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, I know you probably have seen this cabinet before, okay? But this is my sticker cabinet. It has all the yearbooks in it, okay? So I want you guys to actually look in here. The lower you go, the older they get. Okay, there's some really oldie moldies, okay? Do not grab the Holy Bible. Don't do it. Okay, we need that. Grab a yearbook and actually take a look at some of these yearbooks. I have one here that is just priceless, okay? <laughs> I really love how uh, looking at some of these, their hairstyles are just wild, okay? But we're not going to be looking for a portrait picture. We want to actually recreate a student life picture. So it's one where people are actually doing something. For example, this one could be a really fun one to recreate, okay? They're sitting in the library. You want to get people that will help you to recreate this photograph and actually get them to sit in the library with the books behind them. They're concentrating on stuff and try to get them to be in the same exact position as this photo. So you're going to have to take a picture of this photograph, upload it, and then actually try to take that and recreate this whole entire situation. This is another really cute one. He's actually pinning a little yellow button on her shirt because she's like participating in homecoming stuff. So that's really adorable. That could be a really fun one to recreate. So take a look through all these books, find a photograph that you're like, yes, I could recreate this and have a blast. The next thing you're gonna do is you're actually going to create a photo of the present, okay? So you're actually like trying to recreate that photograph of them they grabbing into their locker and try to be in the same exact position. I don't care if you guys use your cell phones or the cameras for this, but you might have to convince people to get into certain situations. Um, for example, I had somebody last year, they did a headstand. <laughs> like in the 70s, I guess headstands are really fun to do for photographs. There's still things that we do that are just ridiculous. So it might be kind of difficult to convince people to do some of this stuff, okay? The last thing you're going to do is actually tell us what you think the future is going to look like, okay? So you're going to write a short artist statement. I'll talk about that in a second. It's three to five sentences about what you think the future will look like 50 years from now, okay? So here's how you write an artist statement. You put the title. So give your give your a t give it a title. Tell, tell me what do you think it's going to be called, okay? Um, do your full name and then give another space. And then write two, I would say, uh, I would say two to three sentences about this work because um, these people you don't really know. You might have to do a little research about it, okay? But uh, ramble on about, like, why you picked the photo, what year it came from, what you thought was, like, strange, funny, interesting about it, and finally give your opinion on how the content of this photo might change in the future, okay? Add what you think is going to stay the same. There's going to be things that are obviously going to stay the same. The people are probably going to look, I guess, the same. Maybe not. Depends on if we look at some of the 80s yearbooks. <laughs> the last thing you're going to do, you're going to upload your photographs to the two print slides at the end of the week, okay? And then have the substitute actually print them out. All of the slides have been shared to his high school sub at cadet, blah, 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 email, okay? And he can print all of your work at once. Okay, I'm excited to see your work.